welcome back to another edition of Gen Sports Corner back at you for April 27th, 2023. You know what time it is. NFL Draft about to happen 8 o'clock, about three hours away from here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the Eagles. You see the hat, you see the fitted, you see the style. And then obviously I'm going to talk about my Raiders as well because, you know, I believe silver and black as well. I'm going to talk about some of the top prospects and what the Eagles and the Raiders are going to do in their first round coming up tonight. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at these Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles have a lot of picks in this draft. Definitely have the two picks in the first round that's big for them. It gives us a lot of flexibility. Um, right now we have the 10th pick overall in the first round, the 20th, excuse me, the 30th pick overall in the, in the first round. And then we have a second round pick, a third round pick, and then two seventh round picks. So the caveat here, the question here to ask yourself is, is Howie Roseman going to sit at 30 with his uh, second first round pick, or is he going to trade back to try to pick up more draft capital? Because he has a penchant for doing so, and we don't have any mid round picks, so I could see that happening. But right now, you look at the top of the draft, and you look at some of the guys there that are going to be sitting at 10. Obviously, you're going to have B. John Robinson, the uh, big time running back out of Texas. That's the name that's been popping up everywhere in connection to the Eagles. He even put out a tweet, I think, yesterday, or there was a an interview where they asked B. John Robinson which quarterback he would like to play with the most, and he took Mahomes out of the equation and said Jalen Hurts. So hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. I would love him at number uh, number ten if he's available. Um, another person you're going to have available at number 10, possibly, is, um, or even higher than that, is Jalen Carter. That's the other name that the Eagles are being connected to. And there was a, a tweet out today um, talking about the Eagles having possible interest in some of the pass rushers that are going to be in the top 10. And they might move on up. If Jalen Carter is sitting there, I would say it, anywhere from five to seven. I think that the Eagles, don't be surprised if they move up to try to get him because he's a generational talent. He's the closest thing to Jerome Brown that I've seen since Jerome Brown. <laughs> so if you have a chance to get a guy like that, you use some of that draft capital and go up and, and snatch him because you put him on that defensive line with Jordan Davis and the rest of them boys and Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat, they're going to be game over, game over. And then not to mention, he's playing with two of, his, two of his former teammates from Georgia and Jordan Davis and Nicole Dean. I mean, it's, it's a match made in heaven from, from all angles. So me personally, if I could, I would trade up to get Jalen Carter because I think he's that much of a difference maker. Can rush the passer, can set the, he, he can stonewall people in the middle and really clog up things in the run game and then add in Jordan Davis there and it's just going to be a nightmare for offenses trying to move the ball down the field and he's one of the best pass rushers in my opinion in this draft even as a defensive tackle so that should tell you everything you need to know long arms high motor he, he's like that okay and then the third person who could be sitting there probably around number 10 is Nolan Smith from Georgia he, Maybe you're sensing the theme here, but if you haven't, <laughs> this is another Georgia player. You know, you have Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, Jalen Carter, if you can possibly get him. And if not Jalen Carter, then Nolan Smith. You have a whole bunch of dogs, pun intended, coming out of Georgia. And he's a difference maker. Can fly to the football extremely fast. You set him off the edge. He's a nightmare. He can be, like I'm reading here off of this, this uh, article, could be Hassan Reddick 2.0 who you could pair with Hassan Reddick 1.0 and really have either way you go I don't think you can go wrong whether you trade up get Jalen Carter which would be my first move or if you get Nolan Smith if you stay at 10 but that being said I still me personally I would go with B. John Robinson because you add him to that offense B. John Robinson and Jalen Hurts with the read option and then with the the zone read not knowing if he's going to give it off to Bijan or pass it to AJ Brown on the slant who's like a running back once he gets the ball in his hands or pass it to Devontae Smith it creates slightly more problems in my opinion than getting Jalen Carter but those are the two guys in my opinion Bijan Robinson and if possible Jalen Carter
All right. So we're going to see what the Eagles do there. And then when they pick that that player up, especially if they don't trade up for Carter, you have to wonder what they're going to do at 30. And I think at 30, they're probably going to go for a defensive lineman if they go ahead and pick up B. John Robinson, or they're going to go for a, a cornerback. And hopefully the guy from Penn State is their uh, Joey Porter Jr., I believe. Yeah, Joey Porter Jr. Hopefully he slides there. Um, if not, I think they're going to get a defensive lineman. Conversely, if they pick up Jalen Carter by some some way, somehow, then I think with 30, if they still have it, I think they go ahead and get the running back out of Alabama, uh, Jameer Gibbs. Um, that would be a, a very good pairing with Jalen Carter if you were able to get him or Nolan Smith if you didn't trade up to get Jalen Carter. So they have a lot of options. That's what I would do. That's what I think they're probably going to lean towards. And then in the second round, there's there's tight ends there to be had. Um, I, I would like to see them pair up somebody to have with uh, Dallas Goddard. So that's what I think the Eagles are going to be thinking, probably doing. I don't think there's going to be a whole bunch of shaking and moving unless they see guys that they want kind of get plucked off before they get to 10. Um, so that's that's that. Let me leave your comments thoughts on what you think Howie Roseman is going to do because obviously look it's April it's ski mask season he plays no games takes no prisoners you know how Howie Roseman rolls man he's that guy okay uh, let me know what you guys think about that now we're going to go ahead and move over to the Raiders Raiders coming off a really tough season Derek Carr going to the Saints I'm still not happy about him letting them them letting him go he was a leader through and through and you made the trade for Garoppolo and he's essentially on a one-year deal. You know his injury history. You know what he brings. He's a bridge-type player. He's going to bridge you to the next guy. So with the seventh pick in the draft, there are a couple of different ways that the Raiders can go. But one pretty – so one way they could go would be to shore up the offensive line, get a guy like Paris Johnson Jr. out of Ohio State to be able to put on that O-line and protect Jimmy Garoppolo – and start to build up that O-line. So when you go ahead and get the quarterback of the future next year in free agency or in the draft, you already have the O-line starting to be solidified into a solid unit. Or you could go this route, like what we're seeing in this other mock draft, which is the Raiders, possibly, maybe, just maybe, trading up from seven to the third spot with the Cardinals, leapfrogging, um, the Colts and going ahead and picking up CJ Stroud out of Ohio State. If they somehow pulled that off, that would be a game changer for this franchise. I don't know. I don't know if they can do it. I don't know what they're thinking, what's going on in the facilities over there out, out in Vegas. But think about it. You have an extra, you have a second, fifth round pick, and you have a second, third round pick. No, actually, you have two extra fifth round picks. And an extra third round pick, an extra sixth round pick, and an extra seventh round pick. You have a lot of draft capital, in my opinion, to be able to move up a couple slots. You take that number seventh pick, and then you take one of your third rounders. All right, you can take the third one of the third rounders. It could be the, the first one or the second one, it don't matter. And then I would package that with one of the fifth round picks and use that first third and the fifth this year to move up a couple of slots and get C.J. Stroud. I, I think that would be the smartest move. Hopefully they're wise enough to do that because there's your quarterback of the future. If you didn't have answers about how you're going to address it, that's the guy, okay? And it's not that far out of reach. You have the draft capital to do so. He's able to move on the run, great arm, pedigree. He He's proven, all right? So you either go with the offensive lineman, the safer pick at number seven, or you go ahead and get... C.J. Stroud, move up a couple spots and lock in your quarterback of the future, okay? You let go of Carr, you brought in Garoppolo as a bridge player, go ahead and get C.J. Stroud, make it happen, stop playing games, all right? We kicked out the last regime, um, Mike Mayock and the rest of them guys, so, you know, this is the time to start making better decisions. No more Clellan Farrells, none of those type of picks with, with the, you know, the fourth pick of the draft, picking a guy that's just okay, no. You get the guy, not a guy, get the guy. All right, listen, I know I'm wearing an Eagles hat, but like, trust me and believe me, this is this is silver right here, okay? You need to know this is the guy to get, all right? Because they, 
<laughs> you have a lot of draft picks. Okay, I met I just went through all of them. You have multiple fifth rounders, sixth rounders, seventh rounders, third rounders. You you can trade up some draft pack capital and then use the rest of the picks to start building your foundation. All right, maybe to pull a fast one and do what I suggested and get the damn guy that's gonna leave your franchise for the next 10 years. So that's my thoughts on the draft. Let me know, Raiders fans, what you think about that in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this video on YouTube. Make sure you go to the channel, genmusic856.com. Um, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping stuff. And I'll catch y'all after the draft. We're going to see what happens tonight. Um, enjoy the night. Be safe. Get some beers, some pizza, whatever you like to eat. And enjoy the show. Till next time. Deuces.